It is a beautiful, crisp, very crisp autumn day this morning. It's about 39 degrees. I bet you there was frost on the pumpkins last night. I am leaving the cave as per usual, heading to the nest. <clears throat> Excuse me. Still dealing with a little head cold stuff, but nothing major. Feeling pretty good. I think that today we should go see Patty, that funky hippie chick at the Funky Hippie Chic Boutique. I haven't taken you guys over there in a while, and I've been really meaning to go see her. So maybe we'll go pick up some lunch somewhere and go say hi. What do you think? Is that a good idea? I have not been doing any art this week, although I keep making plans. I have all these ideas, and I keep writing down how I'm setting things up, and I haven't done anything like that. But I have been nesting, and I did some more fall cleaning and purging. I got rid of a bunch of stuff uh, from my kitchen that we'll be bringing over to the United Way. Somehow I have to stop in the middle of the road here. What are we doing? Uh, oh, there's a truck backing up. Okay. Uh, yeah, so what? Oh, cleaning. And then last week, I saw you guys on Wednesday. I think Thursday, my sister of the moon, Donathan, came over. And we just hung out and caught up. I love hanging out with her. Um, I've known her for like 20 years now. And... We just always spend the day laughing. And then the day after that, my ex, Mark, came up with bushels, you know, a huge couple bags of fresh tomatoes from the garden in Kerhonkson. So I spent the day uh, making vegetable broth and tomato sauce, and I wasn't going to do any canning. And then I decided I had too much to freeze. So I pulled out the pressure cooker and got out the ball jars, and I put up some tomato sauce and veggie broth. It's so satisfying. I don't know if you guys have ever done any canning. Um, it's a lot of work. I said before, you know, my least favorite time in the garden was harvest time just because of all the work, but it's so satisfying when you get all that stuff done. So that's pretty much it. I just have been chilling. I, my friend and neighbor Peggy came over. Uh, we went out to dinner a couple times. And I think tomorrow we're going to take, I always talk about my friend Steve, his cousin is up visiting and we're going to bring her to the Woodstock Museum. So that's about it. Let me give you a shot of some of these amazing trees before we get, you know, the leaves are starting to change. So I'll see you back at the nest. safe and sound back at the nest. Here's our beautiful day. I'm going to make some coffee and get this morning rolling. Life is good. Got my coffee, checked in with Facebook, posted some music trivia, listening to some Morning Dead, which I better turn down before I get a copyright strike. I figured out you can post about 20, 20 to 30 seconds of music before they flag your video. Just saying. Uh, yeah, oh, there's a notebook full of ideas for projects that I'm not working on. I still have filming set up there, hoping to prompt me. Um, and blessings of the full moon for tomorrow. I've been feeling that energy, but again, haven't been, I can't force it, you know, I have a lot of ideas for projects, but I'm not going to just make a video just to make a video, so, uh, yeah, just enjoying the morning, I just pulled a card, lots of renewal going on, sending out a lot of peace and love and hugs to the world and all you guys, um, what else is going, oh, you know what, let me show you the sauce that I made. Oh, I may regret this. Let's see. Yeah, hello, sauce that I made. 
this is my pantry and like I said it's so satisfying here's the tomato sauce which I didn't make like a marinara sauce yet it's just straight up tomatoes so I can use it for everything um, here's some super concentrated veggie broth that I make with all those scraps we keep and this is some corn and black bean spicy salsa and I also have some regular salsa in the fridge so I was going to film the process you guys um, but it's so much work and I just kind of wanted to take a break and just do something hello pantry did you guys ever see my pantry I may have showed it in my KonMari video um, yeah and you know what under here is my magical stash of one magical stash of my crafting stuff so that's where I keep my beads and embellishments and this basket here whoa is um, where I have some filming things so extra keep hitting the camera Callie extra stuff yeah time to go shopping Tom and I are gonna go to Aldi's tonight uh, I don't know if I'll be including that or not we shall see so good morning morning um, people have asked me if I decorate for Halloween it's always Halloween here in this house um, and I probably will not be doing any decorating this year <clears throat> I'll blame it on my grandkids not being here but it's just I would do it except for the work you know <laughs> um, I was gonna pull out some stuff last week and I never did speaking of the Grateful Dead isn't this a great picture this is an original print by a gentleman named Mike Dubois Shout out to Mike Dubois and Mike Dubois Studios up in Woodstock, New York. Sorry for the glare, you guys. Do do do. There's my eucalyptus. It still smells amazing. And what do we got going on over here? Let's see if I could show you. I'll turn the light on, which didn't help much. Let's see. Let there be light. <clears throat> putter, putter, putter. And you guys, honestly, I talk about this all the time, but people keep asking me about how I do my bead curtain. Would you like a video on that? I mean, to me, it just seems so simplistic because I've, I just string beads and hang them up. But I keep asking if you'd like a video and you guys keep saying yes. So maybe I will just break down and do a quick video. But what do I have growing here? Do, do, do. Oh, this is um, from Mark also. In addition to the tomatoes, he brought me a baby butterfly bush, which was really poignant and sweet because when I had gone to visit the garden in Kerhonkson, my butterfly bush that I had for about seven years was gone. So I don't know if they just naturally die off, but anyway, here's a new one. And I'm going to keep this alive through the winter excuse me I keep clearing my throat <clears throat> and hopefully plant it outside but do you guys like butterfly bushes they're beautiful and I still need to speaking of beading I haven't hung these yet remember I got these at the at a garage sale recently I think this one's my favorite I'm stalling I don't know why I always feel like I want to come show you over here Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, coffee, coffee. The, what'd you think of my Laguna Moon essential oil video? Um, yeah, I'm only going to do review videos on things that I would normally use or normally buy. So you're not going to see like odd things for me, I don't think. I say that now and watch, I will, but I, this morning, am actually running both of these together. Uh, there's chamomile and sandalwood, which I love sandalwood and chamomile. I used to grow in the garden and if you like step on it or it kind of just makes a carpet, it smells so good. So I actually have them running together in my diffuser this morning and I'm loving it. Yes. And I've also started in addition to being an Amazon affiliate, which you guys know, I always put links where you guys can uh, go and check it out 
and Amazon will pay me a few pennies uh, if you guys purchase anything through those links and it's at no extra charge to you but I've been doing that for a while now but I recently also started with they have an influencer program where you can you know people who are in social media people can have a store so I also have an Amazon store where I will put things that I use all the time like my Nag Champa incense and patchouli oil and things like that um, also where you guys can go through and see things that I like and I'll put that link below too but go Amazon um, I'm trying to think if I've ordered anything this week I don't know I have a couple things to show you I think there's still that ginormous squash and Mark brought me a zucchini or a courgette and this beautiful acorn squash look at that so I will be doing some more cooking yeah I've, maybe I'll do another canning video um, it's apple time here in upstate New York so maybe I'll make some applesauce and show you guys how I do canning um, I'm trying to think Oh, what did I do? I told you I did some purging in the kitchen, right? So I'm not getting rid of this wooden crate here, but everything in it is going to go to the United Way. Just things I don't use, big bulky electric things. Um, I have that griddle there that's perfect for like pancakes and stuff, but I no longer eat bacon or meat. And so it's just taking up space and I like to use my cast iron for everything so um, my guitar I have not been playing it since the last time I played it uh, I go in spurts so we'll see what do I have to show you uh, I told you Steve's cousin is up and she gave uh, Tom and I, I guess Tom and I some books and I grabbed this one um, this is all about chakras and Odea Judith, she's well known um, in the spiritual realm of writers. So I'm looking forward to checking this out. A user's Guide to the Chakra System. Have you guys seen this book? It's been around for a while. Um, and what else? Oh, this is the only other thing I've bought. I told you, I go through these Signo Uniball. These are broad gel fine point pens focus um, and I go through these like water but I'll put a link to these below I think these were like six dollars on Amazon or something um, I use them for highlighting and outlining and making things pop on a journal page they actually saved the last Dyson deal page as far as I'm concerned um, yeah and my neighbor Peggy it's so funny I was telling her about an idea I had to make a new uh, pouch and she went next door and grabbed me this cute little drawstring pouch and it was kind of exactly what I was thinking of for making so stay tuned um, that's on the list of things to show you guys um, little drawstring pouch video so it was kind of funny because we were I was explaining it to her and she's like oh my god oh my god I have one of those so she went and got it is that all I wanted to show you? I think that's it for now, you guys. Um, again, let me just get dressed, get moving. It's only 9 o'clock. Figure we'll go leave here probably around 11.30, grab some lunch, and then head over to see Patty. And I'll show you uh, whatever progress they've made on that casino, which you know how I feel about that. But what are you going to do? Yeah. Good morning. No, no bird food. No bears. Okay guys, it's about 11.30. Let's get on the road. I'm starting to get hungry. I figure we'll stop at the Korean market, um, the green market, and pick up some goodies. And I'll bring them over. Um, I would get soup today, but it, it's too hard for me to try to carry on my own. So anyway, it's a beautiful, beautiful day. The air smells so spicy. 
like fall goodness, you know. And it's funny, last week I talked about all the acorns in my yard. Well, don't you know, the very next day my, my landlord hires lawn maintenance guys, um, which actually is a huge help, really, because I don't have to do any of that stuff. But um, they vacuumed up or got rid of the whatever acorns were laying around and swept them off the driveway and stuff. So I did have a couple people ask about them. And even though there's still, you know, there's thousands of them, but... They're kind of crushed up and not so good now. So anyway, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. And you like this jacket? This was a thrift store find years ago. I've had this thing for probably going on 20 years now. And it was probably part of a, I don't know, like a skirt set or something. But I'm just wearing it with jeans. And I always tailor my jeans to fit right so that's outfit of the day and i have on my boot and that's it and for those of you who know no i still you know even though i'm vegan i haven't thrown out my leather items i do have some leather handbags and some leather shoes that i still wear but i won't be replacing them with leather items why i feel the need to kind of say that and defend it i don't know my own conscience, I think, right? Okay, um, I could talk, right? I'll see you in the car. Here's some acorn remnants. Okay, I'm having a bouja day when you know you've been here before. And I'm always happy to be here with you guys. I look forward to Wednesdays, I really do. I don't think I could do everyday vlogging. I mean, I could if I had to, but um, I do look forward to sharing time with you because it takes up a lot of time, honestly. That's why I couldn't do it every day because I'm, um, you know, you balance your life, right? But this is a very happy part of my life and I'm really happy you guys are here to share it with me. So thanks for being here. Have I told you what a beautiful day it is out? This is like my favorite kind of day. Are you really going to turn? Hello. You never know sometimes if they're really going to turn, right? I don't have a lot to share with you. And honestly, I want to drive with the windows open and the music on. So let me give you some more glorious scenery here. Uh, because it will soon be winter in upstate New York. And I'll see you guys when we get close to... Well, we're going to go to the green market first. So I'll see you over there.
Okay, guys, I wasn't able to film in there. It's too hard for me to walk with my crutches, but I'll show you. And I know Patty loves all this stuff. Uh, Tom and I always get these, too. This is the cucumber avocado sushi roll, uh, seaweed, rice, sesame seeds, and they give you wasabi and garlic and, not garlic, ginger and uh, soy sauce. And some of these veggie spring rolls. These are all vegan, nothing has egg in it, so they're like little mini egg rolls, and they have cabbage, and it's amazing, bean sprouts and stuff, they're delicious. And same thing with these, no egg, vegetable pancake, um, so it's like a pajun. We get this when we go to the Salt and Pepper Kitchen, which is one of our favorite Korean restaurants too, and they give you chopsticks which I saved to use in my mixed media. And also, I got a couple bags of chips for the house. Um, this blue chips, so I can have some with my new salsa. And these are amazing. These are like our favorite, um, one of my favorite, and Tom's too, chickpea chips. Amazing. Okay, so back on the road, and I'll see you when we get closer to Patty's. Oh, yeah. And I also got this to drink. These are delicious. And this is a Ipanema pomegranate. I'm a girl from Ipanema. Okay, you guys, we're coming the back way. And look, the road is officially closed. I don't know. I just remembered on my way to the highway that there was a back way to get here. So I hope that we can. I think we come up to her store before the casino road is closed if we're even on the right side of the road this could be well look but look how beautiful it is oh my gosh this is as close as I get to walking in the woods anymore I think we're on the right path I'm just going by my instincts, you guys. I used to live around these parts, but they're changing everything so much. This looks like some freshly paved road. I mean, what's the worst that's going to happen? Remember last time we came here, there was a some guy in a security truck following me around. It's like, really? is this it I'm so disoriented you guys but isn't it beautiful back here and she actually has her shop on property that was her grandparents so uh, they used to have a different store and they just you know last year oh, her and her husband Jonathan opened the new store on her own home property. So that's really special. Um, but yeah, you guys, I'm really disoriented. And I think I was the last time I was here too. But I think up on the right, we'll start to see some of this uh, casino construction that's going on. Where is... Oh, yeah, look at it, you guys. Uh, uh, ugly, ugly, ugly. Oh, my gosh. Sorry for the glare on my window. My windows are kind of dirty. Oh, look at that thing. Hang on, let me take it down here. Oh, there's a truck behind me. Woo! Oh, yeah, it's security. <gasps> look at that. Can you help me? Oh, I guess they can't help me. Sorry for putting that down. Let's figure out where we're going to go. Oh my goodness, is anyone going to like stop us? Are we on the right road? Patty's going to laugh when she sees this footage because... But yeah, look at this, you guys. Uh, just say no. Casino. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, I am not a fan... Uh, I don't, I'm not a fan of anything 
that encourages, whoa, I see why the road's closed. Uh, yeah, driving on the wrong side of the road. I am not in the United Kingdom. Wait, is this you coming up here, Patty? She's either gonna be st um, straight ahead or, or to the left. <gasps> I found you, sister. Oh, all right. I just had been disoriented, but I knew. All right, yeah, she's down here. And I'm sure with all these road closing signs and stuff, this is not good for her business. Look at this. I'm coming. I'm on my way. I see her car is there, but isn't this a great spot? And, you know, for her sake, you know, they're hoping that she'll get business from the casino here. And I'm sure that she will. And hopefully all the money and winnings that these people get, uh, they will spend here at the Funky Hippie Chic Boutique. And you guys know, last time I was here, I put all the links. And I will see if Patty can give you a tour here. And if not, I will again. Because I know she's got good stuff. And look, here's my front row parking. Right here. This is Cali Spot. Oh, yes, it's Cali Spot at the Funky... Yes, she's open. All right, I'll see you inside.
Hey guys, leaving the Funky Hippie Chic Boutique. My phone's battery died while we were in there, but had a great time hanging out with Patty and Jody and Linda. It turned into a real girl's day, so that was fun. Um, I'm heading home now, and I just wanted to show you I couldn't leave that amazing store without picking up a couple goodies. Um, it's I have to be careful. It could get dangerous, but you know I had to get some Nag Champa. And... I've had my eye on this for a while, so check it out, guys. It is a jacket. It's like sweatshirt material. Freaking amazing. Bell sleeves. I love this. I've literally had my eye on this for a long time. Um, it's a zip-up jacket, okay? And it's kind of got scalloped hem on the bottom. And the best part, you guys, first of all, it's this amazing sweatshirt material. Look at that. But would you look at this hood? It has an elf hood. A little pointy elf hood. So I love it. I love, love, love it. She gave me a great deal on this. And again, I will put the links to her store below. You can visit her in person and online and yeah isn't this great i'm so excited yay okay i'm gonna switch the camera around and i'll see you back at the nest Hey guys, I think we're going to call it a day. I'm going to upload all these clips and get that going. I'm still waiting on Tom to get back from work. We're probably going to go shopping tonight or something. And yeah, so I'm sending you a lot of love, a lot of peace, even more love. Ear tugs for the grandkids. Have a beautiful, blessed week. Um, I promise I will have some art coming out soon, which is promise. And I love you guys. If I don't say it enough, I love you so much. Give me a thumbs up if you're inclined. Subscribe if you haven't. Click the bell, because Lord knows you need to be notified when I put a video up. And uh, stay tuned. I'll talk to you guys really soon, okay? Take care. Love you. Bye-bye.